Hello, Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations. I'm going to show you the direct input link, or DIL, DIL, as we call it usually. And uh, what it consists of, it actually has a camera also, but I have just hidden it. So you can actually view from this. It's like looking from your eyes when you look with this one. It's perfect to put this camera inside of a car and have a look around while you're driving. I love that stuff. But don't remember, don't forget the motion filter cam in that case, otherwise it will look too stiff. Anyway, let's hide the camera here again. And uh, the thing here is that uh, what, what this one does, an input is a joystick or a gamepad that I have or a 3D connection mouse that I will show you here. Uh, and <clears throat> What it does here is uh, to move this one. It has three ways of moving, uh, moving up, down, side, backwards, and then it can rotate in all three directions at the same time. And it just mimics Im immediately what you do with your input device here. So for example, I have a 3D connection mouse, but I will first remap it to a Logitech gamepad because that's a more usual one. But soon I will use that one. And I'm in Maya right now, but in a few seconds I will leave for Max and uh, just show you that it doesn't matter where you are. And in Max I will show you a little more advanced scene, which I have uh, where a, a direct input link is used in a good way. Okay, so now I have mapped it to, to my Logitech gamepad here and I just hit record and see what happens. Okay, so I'm that's my left thumbstick just looking around looking around it's like a human head wouldn't you say I would say so at least so that's exactly what it does it mimics almost like a human head and the thing here is that many many uh, companies use this as a puppeteering device now isn't that interesting because you can react at the same time that you speak because it's just the reacts to what whatever you do with your input so it's a very very versatile tool in many ways so here also well, let's go into the inputs here and uh, I would choose that was without roll now which is good for head movements because you usually don't ro roll your head but if we choose roll smooth only then we can see that we can choose to to move this basically anywhere inside this cage here that's with my buttons and combinations on my thumbsticks like that so that's that's what it can do uh, 95 percent of the cases it's only for rotations that you use this one say so you have your bone system here and then this cage here is attached to the neck bone and then the the head is attached to this one that's how you would get a a talking head and you can do this for wrists or whatever uh, anything you can imagine actually so that's the thing here this is the relative cage and that's what you attach to objects you want this thing here in the middle to move with so that's what I have in the maxine here that it's attached to a car this cage and then I can move freely with this one inside of that right so let's just switch to immediate here so you see the difference uh, this one is just bang 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 it's uh, it, if I hit the button it just bang bang like that so this is just moving exactly as I do with with the input device now I wouldn't suggest that that many that often I would suggest you use smooth or or a very smooth or something because uh, it just looks better that's all and uh, for example if I choose smooth here and then I go into the input settings here and now I will show you the 3D connection mouse which is a space explorer it's a six degree of freedom uh, input device which is quite well suited for this particular device here so have a look at this I move it it just listens to all my commands here in a very nice fashion like this so highly highly controllable so this is perfect for these puppeteering situations because if I choose no roll here it just reacts to everything I do here hey what's your name well that was actually a little slow I would say so let's choose quick here 
Now we have roll on this one, unfortunately. We can pick out the roll, we can delete the roll here. So let's actually do that. Let's clean the forwards and backwards and uh, just have up and down, left, and uh, then uh, right, the roll like that. So now we're safe from rolling and moving sideways. We can still move the head up in surprise. Hey, what's your name? My name, my name, my name is, well, you know, I, I, I can't tell you that because I'm afraid. And you can also limit how far it goes here with this maximum value. So for example here, I think that the, the up down should be smaller, 0 0.3, say, that, and then just, well, yeah. Yeah, then it just goes up there, which could be a better position for a head. And I notice here also that the direct input link actually has a dead zone. So let's go in and fix that. Advanced um, dead zone 0 0.2. This should have a dead zone of 0. That's what I would do with this one. Uh, dead zone 0. Just it, it kept those dead zones from the previous joystick here. Uh, right, so like that, and uh, what else did we have? We didn't have anything else. Right, okay. Now it should behave a little bit less erratic and more responsive. Yeah, much better. Like this. So, uh, what's your name? Uh, my my name is. Uh, well, hey, don't look look over there. That's quite fun stuff. Uh, so this is just. I mean, I'm just playing around here. You would do this a thousand times better than I would ever be able to do especially in this short of time and uh, as with all our tools I mean if you're satisfied all the way to that point say uh, let's see yeah, I don't know where, where that let's start from the beginning here and, and do a little seamless transition here so I have that have it there you know I'm looking around hey 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 what's up and then I made a mistake there then as usual in our workflow you just back it up to a position where you were satisfied like there move the joystick in place and uh, well I moved it too much there I noticed so let's move back like that and uh, like that so I just continue from there and uh, have it go from there okay so that's being said I will just jump into 3ds Max here quickly before my time is up and show you this here is a mount for this, well, that's Maya. So let's close those and open up. There we have. It. It's a little complex rig here, and uh, we see that we have a direct input link that is controlling the turret here, this one. So that's what is being turned around here when I turn the firepower. But it does not rotate it directly like we did before because look at this. I'm pulling the thumbstick to the right so it smoothly smoothly just rotates and it keeps rotating and guess what if I release it now it won't go back bang it stops there so that's a way that's more of a turret like movement we have there so I like that setting for this particular device in these cases very very much and it's due to this it's pitch and yaw that we use only and we have the integrate value and that's it. So uh, what we do here is that we uh, we use this pitch movement integrated and as soon as I release my joystick it just uh, stays there where it uh, was last time. And uh, if we just have a look at what the combination of these tools do now we just have this kind of situation and I can shoot the bullets. Boom. So this is, uh, I mean, this gives this this um, whole rig kind of sinister feel. Uh, yeah, I'm not uh, going to hold you anymore. And I thank you for listening to this tutorial. And I hope you enjoy this uh, tool and find out thousands of ways to use it. And then mail it to Craft Animations uh, showing your uh, stuff to us. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.